a new range for the Dyra stable this year is the end zone. Before I start talking in depth about the two ranges, a little bit of history. We first started testing these rods just over a year ago at Barston. So a lot of work has gone in. We've had two or three samples, tweaking the actions, tweaking the ring positions, getting the quivers right. So a lot of work has gone into the whole range. We've got S and Z. S is basically what I'd call the more affordable rods. They range from sort of 10 foot to 13 foot, a variety of casting weights. And then the Z, slightly higher price bracket, they range from 9 foot to 14 foot. So there's really something for everyone. It is a big range. I'll just pick, pick you out a couple of my actual favourites. In these S range, basically power method. So it's an 11 foot, really powerful method rod. It'd be a brilliant bomb rod uh, or chucking a hybrid rod for venues like Barston, Boddington. Proper feeder guide, so you're not going to get frap ups. A really nice bit of kit for someone who wants a short rod, but maybe wants to fish it a little bit further out. There's a massive sort of swing towards short rods, but being able to fish 60, 70, even 80 meters. And the Enzo S, S uh, 11 foot would be a great rod for that. Another one in the S range, while I'm on the subject of them as well, they all come, the S and the Z range come with two quivers supplied. And the big difference between the two is HVF on the S range and HVF Nano Plus on the Z range. But for your distance anglers, uh, you've got your 13 foot, 120 gram. You've got a variety of different casting weights on them. So there's something for everyone from big rivers to long distance method anglers. But for your long distance bream angler, the end zone S distance feeder, 13 foot, 120 gram. That'd be a really nice sort of 60, 70, 80 meter rod. Moving up slightly in price. If we move to the Z range, going down in power a little bit little 10 foot rod perfect for sort of venues like Lindome anywhere we've got to sling a little method cast a little method tight to islands 40 gram casting weight 10 foot could literally bend it right to the butt lovely little f1 rod small carp that type of fishing which is really really fashionable at the minute and again the other end of the spectrum we've got that for your big chuckers, you know, I spend a lot of time in the winter at places like Boddington, where you've got to go maybe 100 plus. You've got 14 foot, 150 gram. Excuse the pun, I cast it to the moon rod, but at an affordable price. And I think this is going to be a really, really popular rod for that type of angler who, in the winter, maybe wants to go a big chuck, but have a rod that can cast, but also with a great playing action. So two new, two new ranges under one type, under the end zone banner, the S and the Z but a lot of rods and there really is something for everyone.